Hiya, my name's David. I'm the wandering ponderer. And I'm not yet out of the woods. I'm here at Mark's Hall. Nice sunny day, a bit cloudy, but the sun's coming through in little bits and pieces. And it's the sort of therapy we need after all this up and down news this week. New variants of COVID and we've, we've, we really are not yet out of the woods. Sad to say that we shouldn't be getting our hopes up. And let's hope that the, uh, the latest variants of concern are covered by our vaccines. If not, then drastic measures of more lockdowns, which I think at this stage of the game is probably likely, but at least for the moment, we've got a break. And this is the thing, we're not permanently in this lockdown situation. They are allowing us breaks every now and then when things ease up, we can poke our head out the door, take a breath of fresh air and experience some form of normality. For me, normality is getting a haircut at some point. <laughs> but this is a nice place. This is on the edge of the woods, which is what we are at the moment in reality. And the blossoms, the blossoms. I want to show you some of the blossoms in this video because they are exotic. They really are. First off, the, the ones that are grabbing my attention are these here. And we'll have a look and see what tree this is. This is a beauty. Look at these. I just urge you, this is magnolia. Um, heaven sent, so the uh, so the label over there says, and I'm going to sniff. I can't smell heaven yet, but uh, I'm not ready for heaven at this particular juncture. <laughs> I want to experience some normal life before I head that way but there are beautiful beautiful flowers and these look at these look at that 
they are lovely. Wonderful. I'm looking for a label that tells me what this plant is. But when I find something similar, I will have a look. Hmm. More magnolia. As you can see from the opening montage that uh, they're doing some work on all the plants and uh, particularly um, pollarding the willows. But this is wonderful. Ah, I see. I see a label. I see a label. Magnolia cobus. So these must all be some form of magma magnolia. There's so many varieties and you, until you come to a place like this you don't realise that there are so many varieties and it's lovely. Even this one, although this one's sort of opened and dying off, I wonder what the bees are making of all this. I know there's some bees in trees in the in the woods, um, in their natural habitat, actually. I see some activity over there. I'm going to go and have a look at this activity. Look. Some workers. Wow. Well, watch, look at some of these signs to see what they're doing. is the area where all the children go. Area of the woods. I'm going to ask. Right. Well, it's not maintenance. It's a group called Coggershaw Outdoors. And they do a course for families. It's just a good a good course to be educated. This is the wild wood, so if you want to know more about wild wood, find out about Coggershaw Outdoors. And I'll put a link in the description of the video. And these are my favorite. I like these. <laughs> I affectionately labelled them trolls, as you no doubt know, and uh, <laughs> teasing, but they could still be trolls. Trolls are known to uh, pose as boulders and large rocks, but their magic powers 
can make them pose as trees. I'm sure they can. And they've all got locked down hair hairstyles. Well, that's it from me for part one of uh, the Marks Hall visit. As always, don't forget, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe on YouTube if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video.